What's going on, everybody? Welcome to today's vlog. Uh, I'm here in Montreal again. Dude, guys, welcome to JDM Fest. Welcome to today's vlog. I'm here at JDM Best. Uh, you can't even hear me because all the tires squeaking in the back. So I hope you, you like the introduction, introduction of the video. But it's so much crowded here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys around of these uh, vehicles. This is basically heaven for me now. This is my favorite kind of cars. All the cars from came from Japan. So. Let's get go. All right, now it just turned quiet right now for a minute. Uh, anyways, just walking around these cars. Woo, it's a bunch. Well, so many crowded people too. So this is what you get when you're in uh, Montreal. This is the biggest car meet of the year. Uh, JDM Fest. JDM Fest is basically Japanese domestic market. All the Japanese cars are uh, different uh, rules and regulations to bring it uh, well the US basically has the most strictest uh, crash safety rating whatever so it has to be five star because uh, over in Japan it's totally different like you take a like a, a normal Civic for example we get only like single overhead cam and over in Japan, there's a BTEC B18C1 from a GSR motor. GSR is basically Integra back in the day. So all the good stuff are all in Japan. We only got like the basic stuff. That's why all this is basically when you walk in here, everyone's all the same. They all love Japanese cars. So that's a quick update on it. So we're going to check out some cars here. Wow. 
that hurt my ear. I hope you guys heard, heard it really good. Uh, I should cover your ears on that. I'll put a, just, uh, put a something on the bottom. trying to get interviews here the only difference with the, the only hard part it is for me it's language barrier I don't speak fluently on French but I do understand what they're saying but vice versa a lot of people some people here uh, don't speak English really well so I'm going to try the best I can to uh, show you guys around them this, this lifestyle and I, I ought to show you guys this too. This is a S15 Sylvia. It's not the R. You can tell it doesn't have a wing. It's a spec S on it. So this is only a Japanese made, or only you can get only in Japan. It's a basically a 240, with a different front end. Well, different bodies, 240 rear wheel drive. So you can easily import those. And those prices are going up because uh, it's becoming legal in the States, 25 year rule. So the plus you guys can find one in 50, under 20, buy it because the price will shoot up. So this is yellow right here. That's super rare. On the Civic Type R, Phoenix Yellow, only 600 were made throughout the world. So this is one of 600. It's a nice collector's item. Very rare. Even has the R6 red seats interior. Six-speed manual. This uh, Phoenix, Gold, uh, Phoenix Yellow. It's also from the uh, Integra DC, DC2, DC4 in North America. That's the basically a type R color. Here's even uh, right now we're looking at a SOAR, even Lexus SC300. Wow, look at that. One UZ or the 2J. Cheaper version of a Toyota Supra. And Toyota, speaking of Toyota Supra, there's a Supra Club here I just came across with. A bunch of Supras here. It's a big turbo. How much? <laughs> 160. That's for sale. I just found out. For sale, man. You guys want a super? Left hand drive? Hard to I want it. Man, 160. For a clean super. How about this black one? This is the, this is the color I want. Black super. Left hand drive, target top. Beige interior. This is the one I want. My favorite dream car. Chris, I know you're watching, man. I want your Supra, Chris. <laughs> it's a clean FD Art 7 here. Silver. That's clean. Left hand drive. You know when 
one uh, Subaru made those Subaru Foresters. Uh, Toyota did the exact same thing too. This is a uh, Toyota Caldina GTT, all-wheel drive, uh, all-wheel drive from a uh, STO 205 Toyota Celica. This is the same chassis, the drivetrain as a Toyota Celica uh, GT4, which we never got. The ST205. We had this ST185 with the pop up headlights, more round. It's like uh, 90 to 90, 90 to 93. Uh, Toyota Celica, that's the only version we got. And the 1988 to 1990, the no, 89 Toyota Celica GT4, the ST165. One, one so this is basically a Subaru Outback. It's cool, eh? TTT. Grand Touring Turbo. And a 5-speed manual. And that's the that's a wagon. I like that wagon. I just wanted to show you guys that. And we're already here in the middle. We're in the middle again. I haven't even been on that side. <laughs> Walking around, just looking around, see if I can find any good cars. So like this S2000 and this TC5 Integra, well, converted to Integra, is basically a RSX. So, yeah. So we're going to walk around. And in front of me is a GTR, more GTRs. That's a symbol of Japan. Japanese cars right there. That's a lot of money on this one parking lot stall. <laughs> so we're going to walk around. Ladies on wheels. It's on to my left. Yeah, you guys, you remember uh, Ladies on Wheels. I did a video of that. So check it. Check in my, uh, new, uh, my channel if you guys want to rewatch that again. Or have yeah, you guys never seen it. All women group. Our group. They're really, really, really nice. Popular too. Well known in uh, across Canada. Yo, you guys, I love this uh, final wrap. I love this final wrap right here. Goku Black. Hey. Super Saiyan Rose. Rose! That's nice. Midnight Rally Art. Follow it. Follow it. Pretty good. I like it. AMS Turbo, I, I can't see the t size of the turbo on it. I don't want to lean in. <laughs> Pretty cool. I like it. So clean. They had a car, so clean that I had a car event here uh, beginning, of, beginning of this uh, month. So I never got a chance to because I was uh, too busy with doing uh, personal stuff. So yeah, that's a pretty excellent build right there. Five, the four, uh, four star Dragon Ball there. You guys, I'm a sucker for uh, Honda's Integras. This is such a clean Integra. Integra. The interior is so clean with Ricardo seats. Factory, clean. it's like clean inside. Factory, so clean. I'm a sucker for clean cars. Integra. I always want to build an Integra, but find a good one in good shape. It's so hard to find, so that's why I decided to build a fit instead. This is a B18 C1. It's powerful, but it's good. It'll do the job. It'll find. It's just, it's basically a cruiser. It's not meant for uh, racing. I guess I made it to the, uh, the pit stop for the drift events here. Uh, I want to do it really quick, show you some of the cars here. What do you expect? You want to go on the sideways. So it's actually not bad, as long as it runs. 
and holds you in place. You can have so much fun with vehicles. Uh, yeah, so basically, this is for a good friends of mine back home, Saskatchewan. So I'm trying to get them a heads up. I want those guys to have those guys to be here. I'm calling them Sask Drift. I'm calling them out. I'm calling them out. Come out here, out east. You guys better come out of here. I want you guys to compete. Represent the schedule. And walking out here makes me want to do my own. Well, I just want to have fun having a, a drift car again. Uh, it's expensive, but it's a hobby. It's fun, but you got to spend a lot of money on tires. A lot of tires. But it's full so much fun, you guys. If you have a chance, try it out. You guys are gonna have so much fun and blast. All right, everybody. So I'm gonna wrap up the video here at JDM Fest. Uh, I yeah, this basically I'm gonna wrap it up. I don't know what else to say, but there's a lot of unique cars here. I was just talking to the Club Montreal, Club uh, Celica Club. In Montreal, uh, there's just there's a huge group community with the Celicas, and I own one. And I was telling them all about it, showed them a picture. They want me to bring the Celica here. I told them once I uh, I can afford bringing it and putting it in storage, maybe I'll bring it here. Um, anyways, that's another story. I'm gonna wrap up the video today. Um, you guys, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Put a comment down below if you see your car here or you see somebody else or your friend or close to anybody tag them and if you have any more questions feel free to drop a line there's my email down below and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and like this video if you want to see more content like this anyways uh stay fly and forever living young peace you guys know these guys want to say something on my on the youtube channel What's the name of the channel? B Q A B E E N space Q A. Please follow me soon. Oh, all right. I'll definitely follow that. How do you How do you guys like it? It's awesome. It's fun, eh? Yeah, it's awesome. Nothing like this out west. No, yeah. No, man. There's a lot of drifting events there, but nothing like this. Like huge car community. Awesome, man. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. All right. You have Instagram. Avery Layden underscore. Where is it like somewhere sticker here? No, unfortunately not. Look at this. Look at this. 370, everybody. <laughs> it's a manual too. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you.